Hey what's up guys it's Rich and welcome to another class setup video. Today I have three different streaks with this weapon. It may look a little bit strange but it is the SC2010 which is probably one of the most popular guns on this game that I've seen or one of the ones that I died to the most at least. Uh, the others being like the Honey Badger uh, or like I don't really know some other kind of assault rifle because this game it, it's dominated by assault rifles I guess you could say. A load of the maps are long range. There's some that you can use shotguns on and, and uh, submachine guns on and if you play it right it will be a load of fun. For example I've played Tremor with the shotgun a few times and both times I've played Tremor with a shotgun I've went on like an 18 or a 19 streak and everyone on the other team has left so it hasn't even uh, I haven't even had the chance to get the KEM strike yet with the shotgun which is unfortunate but I'm pretty sure that's the only uh, map that I'll even attempt to use the shotguns on and uh, it is a lot of fun so hopefully I will be able to get a gameplay with the shotgun on that map pretty soon but anyway back to the video I'm going to show you uh, what perks I use with this and uh, I'm actually going to put the class setup on the top hand the top hand the top right hand side of the screen now it's the SC2010 with what I believe to be the kind of target finder or some kind of scanner I'm really not sure what it's called though I should have uh, checked I guess but it's one of the sites and as you can see it kind of reminds me of the target finder from Black Ops 2 and along with that I've got the extended mags on it as well just because I like to spray a lot with the assault rifles and on the odd occasion that there's more than one opponent around I don't have to worry about conserving my ammo and plus because I don't start with scavenger uh, starting with extending mags allows you to start with more bullets overall which is always nice so you don't have to get scavenger until later on in your streak so that's the class setup uh, I kind of cut out the the grenades and the secondary because I didn't realize up until you know two days afterwards I, after I had the game uh, if you remove the secondary pistol and you remove your fra uh, flash grenade and your grenade you get to have three more tokens to use on perks and I would much rather have a perk like quick draw or a perk like stalker which is uh, worth three tokens in your cred class mode than a, than a secondary uh, a stun and a flash because the pistols on this game are awful they're barely worth having to be honest apart from the P99 which I've died to in ridiculous fashion a fair few times uh, the pistols are awful, the grenades are pretty good, but you're only going to get like one kill every three uh, you throw, which isn't really worth it when you compare uh, what you could have instead of the grenade. So I got rid of that on the class because I didn't have any. So the perks that I start with, Stalker, which is, I, I would say, my most, my favourite perk on this game is Stalker. I can barely go on a streak without it. Uh, so I've got Stalker, I've got Scavenger, Amplify, Focus, which is another one of those perks that is extremely necessary on this game, and Hardline. And I'm using the specially slowed out just because uh, assault isn't really that good in this game, and I really do enjoy a load of the perks. So I I, uh, I try to make good use of that by using the specially slowed out. So I've those are my start out perks. On the specially strike package, the first unlock I've got is lightweight or agility, as it's called in this game. And I've seriously underestimated how good that perk is on this game. The uh, the combination of agility and marathon in this game is insane. You run so quickly. It's as if it's Modern Warfare 3 and you've got the speed proficiency and a submachine gun. It is so much fun to run around with agility, so I've had that as my first unlock. You could change that out for sleight of hand. It may actually make more sense to have sleight of hand as your first unlock, uh, so you don't have to have like a slow reload or what have you. And then I've got, you know, sleight of hand, which is what I was just talking about. And then I've got ping, which is a perk which is new to this game. If you don't have it and you don't know what it does, basically, just to go over it really quickly, once you kill an opponent, uh, it sends out like a pulse on the radar, which kind of acts like one a sweep of UAV and anyone in close proximity to the person that you uh, killed as long as they don't have off the grid as a perk that will show up as well so it's really helpful on um, the close engagements on this game it's a really good perk so I've got that as an unlock as well and then I've got dead silence just, uh, just because it's really nice not to be heard in this game where the, the footsteps are really loud uh, off the grid and wiretap and wiretap is the perk where you can make use of enemy satcom so it's just another one of these perks that allow you to pinpoint the enemy's location and this is the final clip I'm going to show you which is just in time because this is where the video ends so if you enjoyed the video be sure to leave me a like rating be sure to try out this class because it is insane trust me on that one and uh, thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate it I'll speak to you all tomorrow bye